Well, okay. Anything else to talk about in terms of results? Uh, no, I think that's that was all that happened this week. Well, we could talk about King of the Hill today, unless people don't want us to spoil it. Uh, I'm here, so I mean, so well, you were you on beat, the show. Yeah, you, <laughs> you beat Ian Sanity. So if you don't want to hear the results, <coughs> turn down your volumes right now, okay? And when I give you the thumbs up, you can come back. Okay? I'll be like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you God. ruined it <laughs> you killed it alright so uh, you beat Ian Sanity 10 to 8 and then uh, Chris Terran beat you 10 to 9 10 to 9 that's yeah. very close extremely close yeah exactly and now exactly. one thing that we did talk about was the little break that we had 9 games it doesn't matter who who had how many mm-hmm. yeah we took a break yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I felt that when we had stopped Ian Sanity's game plan but that's, you know, so my suggestion to ESL was, hey, why don't we have them, the players, have control of their breaks? Yeah. Uh, like, like when they can so, call out a timeout. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and it could be like a minute. It could yeah. be like, I don't know, 30 seconds. Because yeah. the first week like we were there. It yeah, yeah, for yeah, the worst, like first week that it was there, Julio, Jesse, huh. and um, LPN oh, thought probably. it would be cool to have the break so they could talk and everything. I guess Chris the Terry didn't agree. Because like, this no. was like, what? What are you talking about? Three against one. Yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do? So, um, but yeah, it was super, super awesome set. Like yeah. I like every time I commentate <laughs> your matches, like when you played the online event against go. Takuya Sugi know, yeah. was ridiculous. That match was ridiculous. It was, it was. And then and then yeah, the you set know, that you had with Ian and then the Christitarian set was nuts. You know what it is? Is every time you're there, I'm like, I gotta wild change. Mm-hmm. No matter what. You gotta show off. Yeah, I gotta show off. Yeah. Got, my one eight Chinese has to Yeah, no, I was just about to say I'm only one eighth impressed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't we come up to Fresno one time for a tournament that we come? Yeah, up? yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh-huh. There was it that was one Crossing Roads. That's right. Crossing Roads. By ro- ran it in yeah, Fresno. That's right. That's right. And think... that's right. We did drive four hours to that thing. <laughs> we I sure remember. did. And when we were coming back, we got what's it called, the Thule fog or the Thule fog or something? Oh, Thule fog. Yeah. Thule yeah. fog. So. This is the fog that like causes gigantic accidents yep. in uh-huh. the southern Central Valley, and we got the, like the serious stuff, and it got to be so that we could only see a few feet in front of the car, and we slowed down to like twenty miles an hour. It was the scary. it was really quite scary, and there was one point where we saw, remember seeing the headlights that were coming towards us, oh, and we man. were like, uh oh, I was yeah. getting ready to like yeah, move, the swerve. Word... It turned out to be that. The, the freeway was at kind of a bend, and so yeah. there was a street that was oh, just a side man. street coming out yeah, of us. Uh-huh. And the person could not have hit us because they're a side street. There's like a fence, obviously. Right. But we didn't, we couldn't tell. We couldn't even tell yeah. that. Yeah, all you saw were headlights like straight on yeah. from us. Yeah. It was like the scariest it thing. It was like some horror movie stuff. So me and my buddy Mike Chow, we drove the same fog, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And we're like, what are these little tiny lights? It's a big old semi right in front of us. Just little tiny lights, and then all of a sudden, oh it's big. we're like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'm awake. Scary. Yeah, yeah. That's scary. The crazy well, thing is that if you turn on your high beams in that kind of fog, it just scatters it's everywhere. Yeah. It's way worse. Uh, yeah. Someone actually asked, do you still play Marvel at all? What? What's, what, 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 okay. is that? what is that? Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what that game is. Yeah. yeah no, sorry. but that, that was, I mean, the crazy thing is us driving to Fresno, we could have driven to Vegas. In the same amount of time. Oh yeah. Yeah, from where we're at. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. Yeah, we course. can drive to Vegas in four hours. So oh. you know, it's pretty crazy that that drive to Fresno was that long. You know. Was was B three and B four? Was it in Vegas? San no? Jose. It was San, in San okay, Jose. okay. That was in San Jose. But you guys so. never drove to like a B Battle of the Bay. And I mean, oh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't go to any. I oh. drove to Battle by the Bay. Okay. So right. I drove there. That was before so. my time. Yeah. Uh, Rest in peace. Nothing. Was before, <laughs> nothing was before my time in the Pioneer community. So. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> all right well anything else to recap no uh i think we can probably just head on break and when we come back we can just run through the rest of the stuff because honestly there hasn't been that much stuff going on i mean we clearly don't have anything to talk about today 80 <laughs> percent of fuck, what we talked about has fuck, been no. nonsense Dude, that's Sweet not fuck. true actually i thought the conversation on red bull stuff was really good oh yeah, uh, yeah you're right okay you're right mushrooms yeah Mushrooms, mushrooms. Beans. Digital pads. The beans. Bean XL. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's go on a break. All right. We'll we'll be back with more in just a bit. Hello. Welcome back to this program. My name is Ultra Dude. I mean, honestly, like, like, so we did King of the Hill. We plugged Ultra Chen. If you're one of those people who's just watching this for the first time, 
and you're like, this is like the most ghetto it's thing nice. ever. It's not usually this bad. <laughs> We I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that we're gonna win an Emmy or anything. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, but I mean, it is a very casual environment. In fact, <laughs> when we have Steve and Steve on here, I mean, you can imagine the craziness that starts to ensue, especially with Tasty Steve and stays Tasty Steve in the room. So you know, but we usually do. There's one. There's not a lot of topics that's going on because we're kind of in this winding down phase. Yeah. We're getting to the end of the year, and I think a lot of people are just waiting for Capcom Cup at this point in time. Yeah. And, uh, but also, you know, we've had just a busy month. We just yes. came from King of the Hill. And that, I mean, look, I wake up, I grab as quickly a lunch as I can, go straight to David's, go straight to Burbank. We do the show, then come right back here. And then, like, I fed my really? cats wow. for, like, five Jeez. minutes. And then we came and do the show. I'm tired. So yeah, I, I apologize. Um, but normally, on uh, most weeks when we do this, it's, it's not like this. So yeah. It's been a all right, what's going on? Uh, let's talk about some events that are coming up. And before me and before that, let me make sure I update. This is this is why I really wish I had a stream producer, by the way, Mikey. So because like it'd be nice if someone was doing this for yeah. me behind the scenes, you know. Oh, spooky. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, coming up this weekend is a big, big, big event: Canada Cup. Yes. It's coming this weekend. Now, last year this was big because it was the last premiere event mm -hmm. like that was giving points, right? So there was a couple afterwards that didn't give points. But in this one, it kind of is the same thing for North America region. It's the last event to give points. Um, I don't think it actually gives points to the North American region, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, to the global. It's, it's, yeah, right. it's, it's global. global. It's yeah, global. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because yeah. right. yeah. then I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I'd be in really big trouble. Yeah, so, um, but the craziest thing about this, so Lapchi told me that last year, it was the biggest Canada Cup ever. It was in Toronto for the first time. He was really happy with it. 400 people had pre-registered for that total for all the games. Just earlier today, he tweeted that they reached 1,000 pre-registrants for all the games. Okay, nice. So he has a thousand, so he's more than doubled already. Indeed. And he even told me that he was worried because the room actually has like a capacity of like just above a thousand. Mm. So if there, he had like 400 sales at the door last year, so he's like, I don't oh. know what's gonna happen this wow. year. So That's we'll good. see what good happens. Problem. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Is. But, uh, uh, oh, shout out to Broly Legs, he's taking off, so. Uh, but yeah, so Canada Cup is going to be huge this weekend. And yeah. not only that, but like, you know, ST has over 50 entrants. So he I added like $500 to that. Well, I yeah. think KOF had like 150 well, entrants. So it's really? like 1500 So it's like every That's 50 nice. players, he would add $500 to the pot or something like that. So. I know Dan Dye was telling me that there's a big ST tournament in Canada. They are. This is yeah. going to be a big one. Because three Japanese players who are the best of all time are coming to Canada Cup just to play Super Turbo. Yeah, so Matsun is coming, probably the best new can of all time. Mm -hmm. okay. Shogatsu, the best old Honda of all time. Oh. And Kusumondo, the best new Honda of all time. So needless to say, I'm not entering this tournament. <laughs> Why not? Because, dude, Kami sucks against Honda. Oh, here we go. Mm. Kami that actually is true. sucks though. against Honda. That actually is, I, is I accurate. I think that, it, that there's two matches I think that are the worst matches in ST. I think Cami Honda is one of them, and the other one is Cami T Hawk. But for the opposite side, T Hawk cannot beat Cami at all. Mm. So that fight sucks. No board. <laughs> yeah, because it's funny, because yep. like, T Hawk was the worst character for the longest of time. Then Sako discovered this crazy OS, safe jump, low jab, like negative edge, SVD kind of crazy stuff like that. I know. And then literally T Hawk catapulted to like top five, maybe, or like six, or something like that. He's really good now, right? Mm -hmm. Never made a difference to me. Because <laughs> oh, wow. wow. I'm a Cami player. So I was like, player. whatever. Like, low forward, low forward, low forward, yeah, low forward, low forward. Isn't low your Dragon Punch safe against him, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've so seen so. a match with Zangief and Cami. And yeah. I'm just low forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, 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 basically, Geef has to try on like a lucky sleep or like a lucky like, He has to trade. Him. He has to trade with Crouch. It's, it's so, weirdly, so that time. fight is way easier for Zangief than T Hawk. And it's still like 7-3 in Wait Cammy's a minute. favor. You play Geef and you play Cami. When's the last Indeed. time you guys played? Well, um, he also plays Honda. While. He plays Honda as well. Yeah, if I remember... So, if James and I play for Sirius... For Sirius, at least? It's <laughs> like, it has, there has to be a blind pick because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I play uh, Honda and Geef and, I guess, Dictator. And he plays Cami and Ken. And Geef beats, or even with Ken, but 
just dies to Cammy, and then Honda kills Cammy, and but then Ken uh, kills and Honda, Honda kills, yeah. dies to Ken, and yada yada. Yeah, so it's this whole stupid we have circle. to do that whole thing. So yeah. I mean, I basically learned Ken so I can fight. Well, one because Ken is like the stupid most fun character in Super Turbo, right? And then also because he beats Honda. Okay. So. Yeah. When I play a uh, Miller time at at, at oh, Wednesday night fights, she's mm-hmm. super good. Super but her Honda is really good, and like I have to play Ken against her, and and to her credit, she plays Honda against me. Like she will go. She she does yeah. that against all the Shotos. She's she a play. She's she play goes claw. for it. She, she plays claw. Yeah. She does yeah. not like no remorse. She just goes in. Yeah, yeah. she does. I, she's I really good. Play. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's super mm-hmm. good. But yeah, that's coming up this weekend. There's really not much else this weekend, not from what I can tell from my calendars. So that is the, oh, it looks like there's a CPT last uh, chance qualifier for Latin America. Oh, so their last chance qualifier is this weekend, then, Mm. it seems like. But definitely tune in for Canada Cup, because that's going to be full of stuff. We talked about Super Turbo, but people will be there from all over the world for SF5. Mm-hmm. Uh, and KOF Dude. sounds like it's going to be a good one. They there. actually sound like they got a lot of Smash players, too. Oh, that's oh, sick. That's yeah. Like... Um, that's going to be... The Street Fighter Five stuff's going to be on Capcom Fighters, yeah. twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters, because it's the premier event. Mm-hmm. But yeah. everything else will be on, like, Canada Cup Gaming 1, Canada Cup Gaming 2, or Canada Cup stuff, stuff like that. And I believe Lapsy said that there's going to be something revealed. He said that. I something so. revealed at Canada Cup? That's what I, he said. Ooh. There's something. I could have... Heard wrong, but okay, cool. The Alex trailer. <laughs> oh my oh, god, wow. did that never come out? No, there was never an official Alex. Oh, trailer. that's funny. Yeah. That's why, dude. Every time it gets to the end of a premiere event on chat, everyone spams Alex uh, trailer. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alex trailer. So yeah, oh, poor Alex. It's become a meme now. So there yeah, you go. yeah. Uh, Russian theme. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but oh, how many people cool. did Hans make mad by doing that? I swear. Uh, let's see here. Uh, other cool things that are coming up. Uh, Red Bull announces a Kumite event with Snake Eyes okay. as part of a special edition of Churning the Butter. So Churning the Butter, of oh. course, is the main NorCal event. Today they had an event where um, it was another, I think, Battlegrounds qualifier. Oh, really? And yeah. If somebody, um, if you entered, you can randomly get drawn to just fly out there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, actually, I think that Arizona is having one soon, oh, too. Oh, if it, I don't yeah. remember if it was this coming weekend, so that might be another one that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, but if you're in Arizona, definitely inquire the, the FGC scene out there for mm-hmm. that. I heard that Vanguard, that, Van, that um, Turn the Bagamon won the tournament today. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, uh, Arizona? No, the no. online the online qualifier you guys were just talking. Oh, about. the Red Bull online oh, one. No, no, online one. that literally nope. just happened. The one like right? today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. That was today. I thought it was an offline event. There was an online one today. And then, because of turning the butter, I thought it was offline. Oh no, this, no, turning the butter would, oh, would be it, offline. But story. there was a Red Bull. Oh, there was moving. also there was also Red Bull. Oh, proving battle. grounds online. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Uh-huh. See, this is why they need to simplify it. I do, I'm with you. <laughs> well, see, like I said, I, in my opinion, I think one of the most confusing parts is that the main event is Battlegrounds, and then these were called Proving Grounds. Mm-hmm. Like, it should have literally been called something like Mini. Final Boss and Mini Boss, right? Mini boss. Like, it needed to have that kind of yeah. feel to it, you yeah. know, so that you could understand it just through the names. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a special event. Uh, Snake Eyes will be in attendance for a special Akuma Day exhibition with giveaways for participants. Uh, if they can beat them before the tournament starts. So uh, that will be on Showdown's Twitch channel. Uh, when is this happening? Why do they not have a date on here? Come on, Kubana Loco. You could should have put a date on this thing. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Dang. He's the one who wrote it? Yep. Yeah, it looks like it. I wasn't going to say it. Tisk, tisk. Um, Why don't you go to that announcement? You see the link there? It's Showdown Esports. Oh, this one right here? Uh, the bottom one where it says Facebook? That might be fine, though. This might work here. Upcoming events. Oh, my God. All these <laughs> James Chen things popped up. All these lewd conversations, probably. Like <laughs> the Chinese government. So, November 4th. Oh, no, that's Seattle. That's the Rebel Proving Ground. Or uh, Rebel Battlegrounds. Go up, go up again. Wasn't it, like, right there? Oh, maybe not. Well, it's impossible to know. Too bad. There you go. This is why you should have more information than that. Okay, anyways. Uh, also, ESL announced that uh, a Mortal Kombat X Community Cup for PlayStation 4. How much do you know about that, David? 
I know a little bit about that. Like what what like what's the format? What is Well, that I'm not so sure about, but I believe it's just a Oh, it's good. They're going to be using the new tournament yeah, app on like, PS4. Oh. I don't think it's like a big, you know, sort of ESL season whatever like they did whatever it was called when they had the whole big Mortal Kombat things. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I think it's just them running tournaments for anybody to enter on the PS4. Just for fun, kind of. That's right, because they have that new platform. That yeah, see, it even says prices so. for the cup have yet to be announced. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, so yeah. they're just announcing that they are going to use that. Uh, Ooh. One cool Ooh. thing is that on this January 8th... This is the one. This yes. is going to be sick. Eh. No, I'm just kidding. What? I love watching Third <sighs> Strike. I don't like playing it. I don't like playing Third Strike. Fair enough. Okay, okay, go on. Premier Third Strike Teams Tournament, the Cooperation Cup, which is pretty much the biggest. It's like the X-Mania for Third Strike. Mm -hmm. Uh, They announced that it will be back on January 8th, 2017. So you do not want to miss that one for sure. Man, that's good. Is it still 5v5? Uh, I I believe it's 3v3, right? Yeah, that's what it's been in the past, I think. Uh, oh no! It's five on five. It's the five on five. That's right. What yeah, that's where. Of? That's where one of that 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 famous video where the hey 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 with the young juggles came from. I'm pretty sure, right? They've been doing that forever. Yeah, but that I well, this is a super old video. Oh, okay. Super okay. old video. It was the one that had like this Makoto player that would kill Akuma off of one one hit. Oh, you know, man. it was like before that stuff was widely known. You I know, see. like it, I, that video. The Daigo Perry video were like two of the things that really kind of pushed Third Strike back into the limelight, I remember. Well, this is not until January, so no, it's not coming up soon, but, mm-hmm. you know, we should start talking about it now. Evo Japan is in January? Oh. No? 2017? No? Isn't it 2018? 18. 18. Okay, 2018. Yeah. I was like, man, um, I should probably watch that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's coming up. I want to know if they're going to fly any commentators from the U.S. out there. Mm. Might need English I've, language commentary. I've never been to Japan. Same here. Never been They're like, Japan. hey, wait, you've been to Japan? I've never been no? to Japan. I've heard of Japan. Everybody really? always, no, when, I've, I, I've never been to Japan. You've never been to Japan? No. I've never wait a minute, been. I've never been to Japan either. Oh, well, then we're all on the same boat. Oh, there you but go. That, that's how this conversation always goes. Whenever we tell people we haven't been to Japan, people are always like, what? You've never been to Japan? I mean, I how would I have been to Japan? Well, I can't just go to Japan. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I just fly to Japan. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, I guess you, you guys are commentators. I thought they would call you guys out there, but I mean, it makes not sense. Yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. Hopefully at some point. Yeah. But uh, also, game news that you see up there on the top right there. Um, King of Fighters patch 1.03 come out. Uh, there are some English translations of it. Not all of them are 100% accurate. Uh, I'm sorry, the official English one came out, but like some descriptions in Japanese are like way more detailed, and then yeah. all of a sudden the English translation is like, has been changed. You know, it's like, thanks, mm-hmm. thanks. But uh, definitely people have been gathering a lot of the information there, but it sounds like they've done a lot of cool things with it. Um, all I know is that they nerfed K Dash. Yes, yeah, that's, I all heard. I, that's all I know. I Dude, heard. I wasn't, I, like, very early on, like, I was playing online, I was streaming it, and I didn't know how good K-Dash was, and oh, like, I fought against great. the guy who was K-Dash, and I was like, I'm across the screen, let me, he slid at me, and then I lost, like, <laughs> yeah. half my life. I was like, huh, interesting. Huh. Now I see. <laughs> yeah, that character's super good. Well, super they did good. they did nerf him, but I heard that he's not awful. Yeah, which yeah. is just the good part, right? Even Nako, like, uh, the bird was toned down a little bit. Before she was super wagon adventure strength, like eagle strength, but like she got nerfed and stuff. Not you guys not played is super she, wagon adventure. Well, is she still invincible when she does a little grab in there? That I'm not sure. God, that's so on long. the way up. You mean yeah. she might be? She Jeez. might be. Why is that a thing? Uh, actually, that might be the end of game news, to be honest. I didn't really find much else. All right. Well. Um, but uh, we did talk about Sony integrating the ESL tournament into their PlayStation tournament. Uh, tournaments features so like you can play and I guess watch tournaments like directly from their menu screen then right so that'll be yeah it's on the home the home screen on the PlayStation 4 uh, and Mm -hmm. you said it's just for Forza now right there's like other games that we're not really knowledgeable about yeah but obviously there will hopefully be more yeah that ESL thing sounds like they're going to integrate Mortal Kombat into it I hope so but uh, this article, I don't know, like, it's not really news. It's just, like, super interesting. Eye tracking technology. Remember how they did that with Sokka one time? Yes. They yes. tracked his eyes so they see what he was looking at yeah. on the game. Sure. Someone apparently <laughs> did that to uh, a pro Guilty Gear player. Who did they do that for? Oh, Kid Viper. Oh. 
Cool, so you can actually watch Kid Viper to see what he's looking at on the screen for Guilty Gear. I haven't seen this yet, but I definitely want to watch this. Yes, yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, so Stupendous actually does that on a stream. Really? I well, he think has eye tracking He has an eye tr It's like, I see green and he's moving, he's looking at his uh, life bar. That's like, so cool. I don't know how you do that. That's Me so neither. Cool. That sounds awesome. I want that. Because yeah, that's so it. educational. Like, because, yeah. uh, and plus another thing too, like, let me ask you this question, okay? Which character do you look at when you play fighting games? The other character, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I tend to they, look at neither. I just look at the space. The space. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean it's yeah, a combination yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. of all that. Because yeah, yeah. so. you can, like, one of the biggest mistakes, in my opinion, from beginner players is they're always looking at their character. That's such a weird thing. To because they're playing kind of a one-player game. Yeah, yeah, you know, true, they're true. like, oh, you know what? This is a way to get in. This is a way to do this. Uh -huh. So they're looking at their character mm -hmm. instead of going, where is he at? The way I found out, I looked at the opponent character was, um, have you ever gotten a migraine before? Like a real migraine. I don't think I have. Yeah. Like a real, real Like, one, no. you'll know. If you say you don't know you have yeah. it, then you yeah. have not. Yeah. Okay, because okay. migraines are the worst thing ever. Like but light flashing in your eyes. One of the side effects is that, you know there's a blind spot in your eye where the nerve connects to your eye, okay. right? So basically, like, there's these blind spot tests where you can look at two black dots on, the, on a piece of paper and, like, you pull it back and one of them will disappear. Yeah. Right right, 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 right. When you get a migraine, it, that blind spot grows bigger. Ouch. And there was literally one time I was playing, this was like at the UCLA Arcade, I was playing with my friend, and I was playing, and my character disappeared off the screen. Uh, like, oh, it was right. weird. Like, the background is still there, but my character vanished. You were like, having a migraine. I was getting a weird. migraine. I didn't no, realize no, at the time. But I weird. was looking at his character, so I saw his, and my character went, boop, and it disappeared. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? That is scary. It was the really weirdest weird. thing. It was hmm. freaky. And, like, the crazy thing about it is your brain, like, wherever that blind spot is, it, like, fills it in with what it thinks it kind of should mm -hmm. be there, right? So it doesn't look like a black spot. It just, like, whatever is there is right. just gone. Oh. And so, yeah, he just disappeared, and I was like, it was terrible because I got a migraine, but at the same time, I was like, that's really interesting. I that's look really at the, cool. I, look I got at a my migraine. Yeah. Yeah. What a useful migraine. <laughs> it was actually a terrible migraine. but most So this eye tracking are. thing is something that I uh, I know that Ski Sonic is super interested in that. Uh, in fact, you know, he goes to NYU for Masters uh -huh, uh -huh. in Game uh -huh. Design? 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 I believe that's the name of it. Um, anyway. Uh, he's considering doing his like thesis or whatever on eye tracking stuff. It's always oh, been an interesting. Oh, that's cool. Him. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah even when he was okay. in college, I remember him talking about it many, many years ago. Cool. Right. Anyway, uh, last few <clears throat> bits of things here to talk about. Oh, well, these are actually kind of neat. Um, I guess this is kind of game related. So S and K created a bunch of T-shirts, uh, and we'll be giving them away just as prizes at events and okay. these are all like KOF like related stuff like you know you can see like you know Takumi uh, no that's not Takumi that's Antonov right there but like all these have to do with like different KOF characters it's a really cool set of them and I know a lot of the KOF characters were super like excited about these but these are going to be exclusive series of shirts yeah. and uh, they'll be distributed as prizes very cool that's, that's kind of neat it's kind of neat uh, oops, you guys remember the uh, 25th anniversary where they gave out the shirts for you LA. Those yeah, are really, yeah, those yeah, are, yeah. Those are really cool. Shows. I still have like yeah. those. I have the LA, the New York, and the Texas one. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Those are cool ones. Yeah. In fact, I always wear. I wore the New York one on the stream after we came back from ESL. Oh yeah. So I was like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Get this article. <laughs> what is this? Uh, oh man. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you put that on the thing? What with what the graphic? <laughs> Just like boom. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Hey, what is it? The um, Street Fighter Five Ant Man. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. right? Yeah. EVB. So uh, EVB has apparently disbanded their fighting game team, which is unfortunate. So yeah. guys like Katana Prime, Dragon, and of course Chris Tatarian, your uh, opponent from today. A lot of MKX players. A lot of yeah, MKX players. A lot of MKX players. So really unfortunate uh, situation there. And uh, it sounded like some of the players were just kind of like dropped unexpectedly. Yeah. So, um, not sure what happened with them. Probably, uh, I mean, I think they, they said... Not maybe, enough funds, I guess. Yeah, so it yeah. says, after 16 months and our best efforts, we were unable to generate outside funding to support the team. It is with a heavy heart and all our love that our team, that we are unable to personally, financially support a team moving forward. And yeah, you, that sucks. And you yeah. can kind of tell the way they did that was 
very heartfelt. You know, they they really wanted their players to accept. Yeah. It always yeah. seemed so, that way. And I, and I talked to them too. Like I talked to some of them at Evo, and they were very you know like encouraged. Yeah. Like that we were going to treat our players good. Uh-huh. We're not going to be like. But you know, if you can't get the funding, you can't get the funding, yeah. right? So. Yeah. So Big D, right? That's an important player there. Okay, okay. Ton of Prime Dragon. Yeah. Those are, God, there's a lot of them. Yeah, you're right. Those are some major MK players for sure, mm-hmm. as well as Chris T. So for all of them, that is over. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, they can find a new sponsor soon. I, I mean, so. I can't imagine so Chris T is going to stay unsponsored for long. No. But I yeah. Don't. He can't be waiting around for a sponsor. Yeah, because if he's waiting around for a sponsor, he's not doing the work that'll get him sponsored. That's yes. exactly how I said it. Wa- <laughs> said a, wa- a wise man once said. Right. And there you go. So, uh, and then uh, oh, that's right. We already talked about the Nintendo Switch. So mm-hmm. that's all I have for topics today. So D the Emperor reminds us Skullgirls is coming to physical copies <laughs> oh, for PS4 yeah, yeah, yeah. and PS Vita. Yeah. And not with, only uh, that. JP voices. Yeah, yeah, they said that like, if they get like a certain number of pre-orders, they will also port those Japanese voices to like the existing oh. versions and such. So yeah. very uh, cool. Uh, they have some incentives. Very limited copies, though, by the way. Yeah. But, um, um, and then in addition to that, there was a something I missed about. No, oh, now I don't have it anymore. Oh. Uh, there was lo- uh, there's an LA qualifier for something or other. Latin America. Los Angeles, I mean. Um, Now I'm trying to remember what it was. Well, I don't remember. Something. This is how my brain was working on the broadcast earlier today when I was trying to remember ESL, SF. And I was like, Twitch, ESL, dot com, Twitch. I just realized that other than those three slices of pizza, I also haven't eaten since 12.30? Wow, okay, okay. Oh, I I had two candy bars on the drive home, too. Those little, like, you did. Tiny, you tiny going ones. in on those candy bars. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, okay. that's true. I was enjoying my water. Uh, all right. Uh, that's all I have uh, for this. Uh, I guess we were going to do a Q&A, but uh, like I said, we, none of us have eaten, and so and plus we need to get you to the airport and everything yeah. like that. So, yes. Uh, I guess we're just going to have a really short show today. Uh, again, apologies to the people who tuned in for the first time today or whatever and was like, if they did tune in for the, they're probably still not watching anymore. They, they probably stopped a while ago. So. All right. Well, thanks for joining us anyway. Uh, the stream for King of the Hill stuff is going to be every Tuesday. Starts around three o'clock p.m. of Pacific time, at uh, Twitch.tv slash ESL. Correct. And no, I won't be dressing my little kitties in Halloween costumes. I think that's hilarious, but I also think it's kind of a jerk move. Is it? Dude, well, yeah, cats... My hate, cats definitely don't want to wear anything. Cats hate wearing clothes a lot of times. You have to, It's really hard to find cats that are okay I've with I've never it. tried it with them, but... I but mean, come on, the little pirates with the, you know, the little arms. Oh, those costumes, those costumes are, are awesome. Are amazing. Well, they're hilarious. I they're just, hilarious. It's just like you put I guess, there. like, I don't want to have my cats do that. Maybe, like, in... Uh, maybe uh, other cats. <laughs> if James wants to do it with his cats, Dude, so that's fine. My ex but I'm bought, pretty sure my cats don't want that. My ex bought, like, this little vest for one of our cats. And when you put it on him, he just, like, doesn't move. Like, he just it's falls like, over. Like, they don't know how to act. Like, it, they just feel like something is, like, attached to them, and they can't... Like, it is. Yeah, and so, like, literally, they just, like, fall over and don't do anything. It's, like, <laughs> uh, the craziest cats. thing. So. Yeah, cats are nudists, essentially. That's true. <laughs> my That's cats true. are definitely... No, All right. actually, my cats have collars. Oh, mine don't yet have collars, so I should get on that. Oh, I just have collars for the bells, so I know where they are. Oh. Although, it like the, I still have this video. The first time I put the bell collars on my cats, like, uh, my, my, my black cat, Jasmine, like, is walking along the side. She shakes her head and goes, ding, 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 and then she just turns, looks, she's just like... <laughs> What the f- <laughs> was that noise? Like the the look on her face is just so ridiculously oh, amazing. So, yeah. yeah, I think in general dressing animals up is kind of a jerk move, but it's funny. I I won't I won't deny that. You won't deny that, dude. So I, I remember one time we were talking about like some bad subjects or whatever. So like uh, it was Mech MacGyver, right? Like tweeting, he's like, here's a picture of no, it was him. It was Super FX, I think it was. He was like, here's a picture of. Baby penguins and sweaters, and they're like baby penguins with little sweaters That's running awful. along. Yeah, and I was like, on. it's a baby penguin. I was like, yeah. this is, like I was like, why are you putting them in sweaters? They like the cold. Yeah, they need they're built for the cold. And, and then the grow. And then yeah. And then like 
Paul responded like, oh, I think these were pictures from like penguins who from an oil spill and they like oh. had to clean all their feathers so they had no feathers and so they were cold That's even and so worse. They put a sweater. And I was like, <laughs> well, like, well at least that spot. makes the sweaters not torture, yeah. right? Yeah, so. but it's not like these are happy penguins. They're <laughs> they're probably in a terrible state. They looked happy. <laughs> probably at the don't. Time. Okay, all right. I don't really know what a happy penguin looks like to differentiate one from a non-happy penguin. I don't know much about penguin facial expressions. You can't Google a happy oh penguin. My God. It's just going to be a TV show penguins. It's going to be happy feet. Yeah. Lots of happy what? You don't know if that's them being happy or not. You have no idea. How, how can you tell me this is, these are not happy penguins? You don't know. They look happy. Well, they might be you dead. You know what? They might, oh, those might okay. be frozen penguins. Right <laughs> I was going to say their feet might be cut off, but you're, they could be dead. They could be. Maybe that's their facial expression for extreme anguish. You have <laughs> yeah, no idea. They're like, I'm dying. It's useless. <laughs> I'm dying. Don't let me die, please. Look, I mean, look, how else would you explain the fact that they have something on their nose that they haven't even taken care of? There's clearly something going on with the, with the uh, above beak region. I like that. I'm just saying, I don't know from penguins, okay? I like the the scale from extreme to like very calm, and then I'm just in the middle, like, yeah. Yeah. All right, you want to get some food? Let's yeah, get let's go food. get some yeah. food. Let's get okay, some. we got to okay. cut the show short because we got to get out of here because he's going. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be flying. All right, cool, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We will see you next week, but do not miss Canada Cup this weekend. It is going to be an awesome event. Yeah. Peace out, everybody. Bye, guys.